Hi there. A while ago, we released a Prodigy plugin called Prodigy ANN, which stands for Approximate Nearest Neighbors. This plugin now has a new feature that allows you to also do Approximate Nearest Neighbor techniques on images. And in this video, I want to give a quick demo of that. So uh, for this demo, I have a little uh, folder over here um, that has two kinds of images. So there's a bunch of laptops that I found online. Uh, and there's a few images uh, that definitely are more like nature. Now, in a real life scenario, you typically have a huge bucket of these images. But let's say for now that these are the images we'd like to annotate. And let's also say that we're only interested in seeing images um, that actually have a laptop in them. And let's also assume that we're not going to be able to use the name of the file uh, to find the thing that we're interested in. For that, we can actually use embeddings. The trick here would be to say, well, I have some sort of database with lots of embeddings in it. And if I can turn an image into an embedding, and if I can store that in there, then it will be nice if we can also maybe query uh, these embeddings. And it'd be especially nice if we can just use text for that, such that we get a subset that we are interested in. Now, under the hood, um, Prodigy ANN is able to use clip embeddings. And these embeddings are multimodal and were trained on both images and text at the same time, which means that the image embedding and the text embedding live in the same embedded space. So let's do a quick demo of how that might work inside a Prodigy. So the ANN plugin now has this new recipe called ANN Image Index that allows you to index images. Um, I'm pointing it to a folder, which is the folder over here that has all my images. Uh, and I'm telling it to uh, store the embeddings in an index um, in a file called uh, images.index. So great, uh, we now have a file called images.index. Um, and now I can reuse that index um, to make a query. Uh, for that, I've got this other recipe called ANN image fetch. Um, I'm able to pass a query. In this case, um, I could go for laptop, but let's go for MacBook Pro just to make it explicit. The reason why I'm going for MacBook Pro is just to confirm that we're not doing string matching or anything like that. Um, and what I can also do is say, well, uh, let's just look for five examples. Uh, and let's also not store the image um, in this fetched data set over here. Um, and when I run this, it's going to run a query and then uh, output a subset of interest in this out.jsonl file. So that file has now been created. Should be able to open it up like so. And indeed, um, this out.jsonl file, um, it has a couple of examples. It has the four examples that all seem to contain a laptop. We also list the uh, cosine distance here, as well as the query that was used. So uh, we can definitely confirm that uh, all the laptop images are indeed quite close to uh, MacBook Pro. But then um, once we have an image of nature, the distance actually jumps a bit. So that's actually pretty powerful. Without having to go through all the images, um, you can just use queries to find images that are more interesting to your use case. And I suppose a final demo that I think is also nice to show is that uh, Prodigy ANN now also provides a image ANN manual recipe. This is mainly some syntactic sugar such that you don't have to uh, write the subset out to a file. Uh, and you can just use the image manual recipe directly, um, but it will respect the query that you give it. Um, which should also save some time. So if I were to uh, now run this recipe um, with, a, let's say, a label for laptop and phone, and uh, let's run this, then this is going to start up Prodigy. And here we can indeed see that the first image is a laptop, so I can uh, sort of select that laptop. Uh, there's also an image of a phone, a little bit more down below there, so I can accept that. But definitely what I'm noticing here is I'm getting images that do have a laptop in them, and I don't have to spend so much time going through all the different examples that might not be relevant. Having an index like this is pretty powerful, uh, and these clip embeddings really do help here. So uh, give this plugin a spin. Uh, if you're dealing with images, it might save you a whole bunch of time.